It's Thursday. Is there a safety story this morning? I know Sean's not on. Joe, do you have a safety story? Joe, uh, Director, Joe got a nice comment from um, the crisis line. OK. Sure, I can share. So for those of you that are unaware, when we participated in the network outage early yesterday morning, um, one of the areas that was affected was the nationwide veteran crisis line, um, which is fed out of Albany. So leading up to that outage, and during that outage, there was a lot of preparation and action that had to take place, um, both from a medical center side on the veteran crisis line side, moving all the calls to a backup system, and then also on the IT side. So a lot of coordination all had to be done virtually with three different departments, um, and that went really well. And the executive director from the veteran crisis line sent a message over to Albany and the other players this morning, um, just thanking us for the coordination and the flexibility. And I would like to just read a quick blurb from what one of their employees said um, that really reflects um, how well the coordination went and what the preparation and flexibility led to. So um, the employee said, I would like to report my experience with the outage callback project. The team was supportive, patient, communicated well, and had fun. Leadership did an excellent job in making sure that we had everything we needed to, per to perform at a level of excellence and best serve the veterans. The information and instruction was delivered in a concise manner and all questions were answered thoroughly. I felt well equipped to complete the assignment. The teamwork and communication were outstanding. Overall, everyone involved in the projects ex exhibited amazing professionalism, teamwork, and embodied the mission and values of the veteran crisis line. I would definitely participate in this project and other and others because of this experience I had tonight. I would like to thank leadership and everyone involved in making this experience a success. And I have to say that I can only speak from a facility side, but everyone from nursing to the labs, IT, police, you know, really came together on Wednesday morning. Uh, we're flexible. We had to wait a lot longer than anticipated because there were still veterans in crisis on the line. So we had to wait for those calls to clear before we could even begin. And so we remained flexible. We communicated well and overall had a really good shutdown. So thank you and I appreciate everyone's help. Thanks, Joe. What a wonderful story. And um, really, it, it does resonate well with all of us, especially when it comes from the outside. So I, I think that's a perfect example of um, HRO, and it's a perfect example of uh, we are a high reliable organization. You know, Albany has been doing this for some time and to be able to put it into the box of of what are we doing? And and I see the growth in every manager and supervisor and employee that looks to the next level that doesn't just take things at the surface on surface and really looks at those unintended consequences that can occur um, the flexibility the calmness the kindness um, it is what matters in an organization um, we have a focus on our quality a focus on our our systems and uh, it's just really wonderful to be able to share stories like that but again, it's another perfect example of how far Albany has come. So thank you.